Nate Parker is with us. Thanks for stopping by. You're a very busy guy, and we appreciate that you are here because he stars and he produces. There's a new movie called Eden, and Eden's about an American soccer team stranded on a deserted island after their plane crashes. Mm -hmm. Just relax. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. I'm taking out. I'll wake you up as soon as the plane hits the ground. Do we have we've got maybe four days left people are going to start questioning whether we're wasting rations you do realize when we take away his water we just be letting them die right <laughs> well, hi. right 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 the lord of the flies tells you bad things are going to happen yeah it's human, true it's human beings aren't going to get along that's right. It's the human condition. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like what happens when, when people are stuck and they have no hope? Survival. Uh, that's right. And then leadership. You know, and leadership often comes from the oddest places. But uh, it was a fun shoot. You it, shot in Malaysia? We shot in Malaysia. We shot in Malaysia. Um, it was right. wonderful. We had a local okay, cool. crew there. Um, so culturally, it was just an amazing uh -huh. experience what, as well. What, what had a great group of guys. It was, uh, it was a fun shoot. It's an interesting okay. experiment. I mean, you know, you, you can think back to where we say Lord of the Flies. Recently okay. in, in right. real life, the, the Chilean miners, we just talked about them, how they got together and worked it out and rationed food, et cetera. They did a better job than I think than this movie's going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny, and that's what that kind of idea came out of a couple years ago when we are kicking around, you know, any situation you, you're in, if they sealed off the doors to this place, you know, and we ran out of food, yeah. it wouldn't be long before we'd be looking at each other sideways, wondering uh, how uh, we're going to figure but it your, out. But your character... He's a good guy. Yeah, he, he emerges as the leader, you know. Uh, at, you know, if, in, in situations like this, you have to choose between, you know, survival from a standpoint of eating and the physical survival, and then psychologically, how do we survive until help comes, or how do we do this in a way that's civil enough where we don't turn on our friends? Um, so it's something I think anyone from anywhere can identify with. You know, there's an old saying that we, we are very civilized until the food runs out. That's right. right. This is what happens. The, People will kill for the, the food. The barbaric nature of mm -hmm. human beings comes out. Mm -hmm. um, Nate, you are a very busy guy, and I don't mean just acting. Are you still coaching high school wrestling? I am coaching high school wrestling. It's I funny can't you mention that. And that's not even a hobby for you. That's kind of like a full time thing for yeah, you. Yeah, I do, I do entertainment on the side, but I, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I'm a coach at San Marino High School um, there in San Marino, Pasadena area. Yeah. And, uh, and we're, I think we're going to win the state this year. We're, so, we're, in other words, you produce an act to be able to coach. Something like that. It's actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, right. it's funny because I'm like a volunteer coach. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, we got um, third in the state last year as a team. And, uh, you know, it's, I love working with, with young men. And wrestling, wrestling has been so much part of your life and who you are. The core of who I am with respect to discipline, um, stick to um, And then, you know, being able to work with young people puts it into perspective. You know, they don't care about the red carpets. and yeah. They just want to right. know if you're going to be in the corner when they have to perform. You right. have such an interesting story about how you came out to L.A. because mm -hmm. you go to the mall, right? Mm -hmm. You're at University of Oklahoma. You go to the mall. They say, you would be great. Try this monologue yeah. out. Four days later, you move out here. And I love the story you tell when you're in your first apartment in L.A. You're uh -huh. looking at a poster of Denzel Washington. That's right. And it ends up being the guy you do a movie with. That's right. The great debater. You know more about me than I do. I love it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I basically, I had a, yeah, I, I remember specifically, like, staring at this poster. And it was one of those things, you know, in, in Hollywood, as, as a young actor, it's hard to get work. It's like that Cat 22. You can't get it unless yeah. you have it. And I said, you know, there are a certain number of people, if I can just get in front of them and show that wait, I can wait, do wait. it. Let me stop you. How long did it take you to get a role? Um, three months. Really hard to get work, huh? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It's you were lucky. I, I mean, uh, yeah, I was very blessed. You know, I was lucky, very blessed. Luck is a residue of design. I, you know, you right, I, I do stuff. believe that. I do believe that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I figured if I could get in front of him and perform and, and, and I was ready that, that he would take a shot on me. He did. I'd like you to stay, but you may have to go uh, coach. I know, Yeah, that's right. right. Like, what's, what time like, is it? This got is practice a hobby for me. I have a job to do. <laughs> Eden opens Friday. We'll be right back. Thank you.